What is up, guys? Welcome back to another StuTube live stream. Got some more Thousand Arms. We're going to start the night off by heading straight to a dungeon. We have to get some kind of machine back from that weird flamboyant guy who stole it from the crazy, crazy girl, crazy scientist, angry scientist. going to be a puzzly dungeon. This is going to be quite enjoyable, I am sure. <sighs> Alright, first fight of the night. What's up, Goomba? What's up, Sprite Dog? Whoa, that thing is freaking right out. Was a little too easy. One stab and that was it. Oh, yeah. It's gonna explode like that one guy. Why does Muza not... Why is he not... Like, is he even gaining experience? Seems like there's multiple... Huh, me, OP? Yeah, okay. <coughs> you guys help me uh, pay attention. I want to see if Muza is gaining any experience at all. He's like lagging behind in level. By a lot. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. That hurts. Is that robot moving at 60 frames per second? Or am I crazy? I don't know, it's just, it's moving, seems like it's moving like really I mean, it's moving fast, but it doesn't seem like it's... Okay, nobody actually gained experience just now. What the fuck? Super weird. Time for a blue moon. see it again. Let's see if we gain experience this time. I don't know if that's just like a glitch. Or, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I wasn't paying as close of attention as I thought. Dude, I don't know. This game is so goofy. All the sound effects in here are like based... They're like all the voice of that girl. Or something. The fuck is a blue chew? Alright. 42 experience. Oh, I'm looking at EP. 
which is like magic points. Huh, I'm retarded. Yeah, Blue Moon is a beer. Oh god, Goomba. <laughs> Dungeon is trolling me. Okay, so I guess I have to backtrack and turn the crane off. Oh shit, I guess. Yeah, I haven't seen that. some more views. I, I bet that the review video for this will probably be really well though, because I don't think there's a lot of uh, a lot of Thousand Arms reviews. Oh my god, that's a lot. What's up, Red Dalek? Let's just retreat from this one. Alright, we could not retreat. So we must stab. Yeah, something like that. Gonna go. Um, the only, the only, like, review, I mean, I haven't really searched, I'm sure that there's a handful, but they're all probably really old, and, like, the only, like, slightly big YouTuber that I can think of that did a review of this game was, uh, Daria? She's, like, kind of in Super Derek Circle. Man, so it seems how it's just uh, you and Goomba. Um, I actually, if you guys remember, the first couple times I did uh, Extra Life stream, the charity stream, I actually did it with a crew of Metal Gear people. And we actually got a, a personal shout out from David Hayter. And the chick that sings um, that song from Metal Gear Solid Five it's really crazy, but I actually I fucked up. Jesus Christ. I actually know a guy that Stephanie. No, it wasn't Stephanie Jusen. She didn't sing the song. Um, that 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 special song or whatever in Metal Gear Solid Five, the who 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 you know quiet theme or whatever. That's not sung by Stephanie Jusen. Anyway, part of that community, one of the guys that I know actually can do Solid Snake's voice like almost fucking perfectly. It's crazy. And uh, then there's 
this uh, Mexican girl that's part of the community as well. And she can actually sing the uh, that song from Metal Gear Solid. The song that's being played as you're like floating in the submarine into Shadow Moses. And there's actually like full lyrics to that song. And they're, they're in Gaelic, that old Irish language. She can sing that. So, the plan is to hit those guys up and collaborate with them with the Dear Metal Gear video that I'm going to do one day. Should be pretty good. Should be cool. Something to look forward to. Yeah, Stephanie Juicen doesn't sing that, Goomba. It's somebody else. Or maybe... Dude, bro, it's gonna be so fucking good. Like, yeah. If I... If I ever quit YouTube one day, as long as I've made that video, I'll feel like I've done something good with my time here. Because, yeah, dude, that video... That video is going to be fucking nuts, man. Fucking nuts. It's going to be so good. I'm going to pour everything I got into that. For sure. But yeah, it'll be cool to do some collaborative stuff with some people. Yeah, man. Like, I've got... I'm, I don't want to... Oh, my God. I'm not, I don't want to spoil anything too much, but that dude... They can do that solid snake impersonation. Big plans. Big plans with that guy. Oh my god, so many of these damn robots. Run! So I can use Akun twice in a battle. At least I'm hoping that it's twice in a battle. And not like twice between staying at an inn or something. Really, really hope. You know, I don't know. It's kind of crazy. But I feel like the Metal Gear that I'm most excited about playing is Metal Gear 2. Or Metal Gear Solid 2. <laughs> like, the first Metal Gear, I got a lot of good memories with it and everything. Um, but I'd never... I've only actually personally beat that game once. The first time I played it... Um... I was actually watching my uncle play it. We beat it in one night, in one sitting. It was crazy. But Metal Gear Solid 2 was, like, the first Metal Gear I ever, like, really played from beginning to end, like, on my own. So. And, uh, yeah. I don't know. I think, like, the coolest thing... Yeah. Like, the coolest fucking thing, man, that I've ne literally never seen any other video game ever do is, uh... Fuck, yeah, I can only use them one more time. Uh, when you get caught in Metal Gear Solid 2 and 
you know, the Spetsnaz, they start clearing the rooms. They're actually, like, super tactical about it. And you can watch, like, like a little screen pops up um, on your screen, showing you what they're doing. Like, from their perspective, sort of. Like, if the third-person camera was above them. It was, like, always... Always, like, so nerve-wracking to watch. To watch them clear a room. But, like, I mean, having said that, like, one of the things that is super irritating about Metal Gear that, uh, what's up, man? that I've never quite understood is like like when the enemy is searching for you I feel like 90% of the time they're going to find you it just takes different amounts of time every time I don't know <laughs> I mean I know that's that's the case with uh, you know the whole cardboard box trick but I don't know I mean, even then, having said that, like, the cardboard box trick in Metal Gear is not, it's not really, like, you're not really meant to hide in the cardboard box from enemies. It's, it, you're supposed to use it to transport yourself around the map without having, you know, it's like fast traveling. What is this? Are you ready? Nope. Let's go! Here we... Paper! Look this... Way! Here we... Paper! Look this way. You're not like, bad. I really should have used, like, learned what. Here we rock. Look this way. You're not gonna win this time. Here we paper. Somehow I'm winning. Look this. to happen to me. I feel like we're going to get thrown in the hole. Well, I guess not. Yeah, it was it was okay. <clears throat> I caught the dead end of it. Like the way that which, you know, the main lady was like, oh, my sisters. 
It's pretty cool, I guess. I barely remember the first one. Stab, stab, no, he moved. We got seven people in the house tonight. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to the weebiest game on the PlayStation 1. I mean, they kind of redeemed him, didn't they? Well, at least the main lady. Ah, it's kind of crazy. I, like, <clears throat> I'm surprised. Like, they, those ladies aged pretty well. Because 1993, dude, that's a long time ago now. Some of these sprites, dude, are so funny. Oh, thank God it's only one. All right, we got seven people in the chat. If you guys are not in the in the, well, we got seven people in the stream. If uh, those of you guys out there, you don't have to chat if you're busy, but. Could always drop a high. Nah, this game never got a sequel. Nope. In fact, the uh, I mean, Atlas published it, but the people that developed it, I think this is the only game they ever made. It's really strange. It's uh, developed by a, by a studio called Red Company. I think they made a couple arcade games in like the late 80s, early 90s. Legend of the Dragoon, oh my god, epic cringe. <laughs> I had to read that like four times before I figured out what you were saying. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, Legend of Dragoon did not sell very well in Japan, like, at all. And if it would have, I mean, it sold very well in the U.S., very well, for some reason. But, uh, if it would have sold better in Japan, I probably would have gotten that sequel. And sometimes, I played that game so long ago, but it is so good. It really is. Like, if you can look past the even worse character sprites than Final Fantasy VII. It's a really good game. Really interesting story. Very complex story. Lots of lore. It really, I think what it should get is a prequel. 
that explains what the fuck Dart was doing for, like, wasn't he gone for, like, 11 years on some journey to find the black monster or whatever? Yeah. I mean, sometimes they were better. Sometimes. But sometimes they were horrible. It, it all just kind of... I mean, it could... I mean, it, you know, I'm sure they could find another... You know. I don't know. I think they could make it work. I mean, there could be, like, flashbacks of the, uh, original Dragoons. Do you like a Final Fantasy VIII kind of thing? <gasps> this is so humiliating! I am not a mere bandit! Don't underestimate me, big fella. I help those in need and punish those who do wrong. Do you believe in true love? I am Bandiger, seeker of love. Get in my way, and you'll regret it. Now, switch on. Hammer! Oh, he's dead. <laughs> he's blowing away in the wind because he's got he's got flattened. That was kind of goofy. Do -do -do. Bong. Yeah, I feel like the field sprites, they were okay from far away, but like, I don't know, there was a lot of scenes where there was close-ups of those sprites, and that's usually where it looked, started to really kind of look rough. If I remember correctly. Yeah, actually, yeah, so. Right, yeah, yeah, their faces were bad. There was like two kinds of sprites in that game. There was like a semi cinematic sprite that was still like in, in game and like using the game engine. And then there was actually 3D sprites for 3D cinematics, which looked on par with Final Fantasy VII. Um, but those in-game engine, more detailed sprites that they would use for minor cutscenes, those looked really good. The problem was, now I remember, they would use the in-game sprites, the standard in-game like overworld sprites, for cutscenes sometimes like the it, like they would with the high like more HD in-game sprites for cutscenes every once in a while there would be a cutscene that just used like the standard sprite from like the overworld and they would do all the fancy camera angles and things that's when it looked really really bad What about number nine, Red Daylight? Yeah, this game has good mouse sprites. What? What is that right there? Just 
too many of them. so much money piling up. her that time. was going to happen when the game stopped. <clears throat> Paused like that, but it was just a stupid random battle. Yeah, it'd be nice if there was a different monster at least. Oh my god, I'm going to get punched to death. Excuse me. level 22. She's leveling up so fast. What is that fucking guy doing over there? Yeah, I don't know why that happens, man. You're not the first person that's pointed that out. And I, like, have absolutely no idea how to fix that. It might be, uh... I don't know. The best I can come up with is, like, maybe it has something to do with, like, your settings in YouTube. You know, like, some people, um, when they subscribe, 
uh, it doesn't set off my alert box because like their subscri subscriptions are set to private or something. Oh, I have no idea, Yusuko. I don't think anything happens to her. I hope not. Yeah, yeah, uh, I just no, I just did that just now, Sprite. I forgot that was set to that. But, uh, I don't think that fixes that. I don't know, I could be wrong. Oh my god. I took two steps. That thing reminds me of something from Cuphead. Have you guys watched the Cuphead and uh cartoon? I've never played the game, but the show on Netflix is really cool. Dude, the whole stream is going to be in this dungeon, I swear to god. I have like this really sad feeling that this game is really short. I think, doesn't Miss Chalice show up in the show? It's like so funny because uh, Yusuko, um, if you had to guess where Cuphead took place, where would you guess? Yeah, 30 hours is pretty short for a JRPG. I can't imagine I'll do a 100% run. Can you be specific about what part of America? Just give me like a general region. If you can. Fucking Idaho? No, dude. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm sorry. That's not fair. You're Canadian. I don't know how much you pay attention to American, like, regional culture-ness, but uh, Cuphead takes place in Louisiana. Like, 110%, for sure, I can tell you that. I mean, I don't, there's no, like, in-universe statement that it's Louisiana, but it is, like, so totally Louisiana. In the, I mean, you got the 1950s right. I 
Idaho. <laughs> Well, you got me beat there, because I don't know all of the state's capitals. What's, what's weird is, like, it takes place in Louisiana in the 1950s, but both of the Cupheads have like New Jersey accents but that's also like eh, not really weird because strangely enough like that New Jersey accent is actually kind of prominent in Louisiana even though they're like very far away from each other and we're like very separated um, like communication between like New York and Australia uh, and Louisiana like uh, it took like, I don't know, like a month to get a message back and forth, like before telegraphs. Damn, that is short. Wow. <laughs> Alright guys, here's tonight's meme. I'll be back in just a few.
All right, fellas, I'm back. We gotta get through this damn dungeon. Skipped a treasure chest, but that's okay. I don't know why we struggled so much on that one dungeon. But this one we're just like flying right through. One hit killing everything. One thing I am curious about is we have two different swords. And I don't know... And Mice is the only character where I have two different weapons. I'm trying to force Miss Crabapple to do what? Yeah... Yeah, it doesn't seem like it, huh? Okay. What the fuck was that about? God, I can't see shit. <laughs> uh... The swords level up at the smithy, uh, and I think that I have to equip the sword to work on it. I just, I don't quite know why Mice has two different swords. Because I feel like, I feel like more than likely, the characters just get one weapon and you just upgrade it over time. So next time I go to a smithy, I should probably equip that sword after working on the one that's equipped right now, just to see what it does. You know, I might, it might be a good idea to keep both of them leveled up. <laughs> uh, I think I should get a new party member here soon. Absolutely not. Whew, to save Damashi. Thank God. Leveled up so many times since we've been here, it's crazy.
Bam, 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 bam. Like, how do I do this? <sighs> I did not know that was a gun. There was like armor <laughs> in this game. I don't think that there is. Well, I mean, there's no armor option in the in the menu. It's just a weapon and an accessory. <laughs> I am a genius. I figured out this device on my own, and you guys. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Will never be in my way again. Adios, adieu, farewell, goodbye. See you later, sayonara. That actually kind of rings a bell, Yusuko, now that you say that. Why does everyone hate Rosie O'Donnell so much? I guess I just assumed that there was some kind of an issue, like she did something crazy. I don't think about, I've never, I don't think I've ever seen Stand By Me. Muza might be interested in the uh, bandager. It's just a hunch. You know, one movie I want to watch is, uh, I think it's called Big Fish. It's just like, it's like, uh, it's, it, it kind of gives me Forrest Gump vibes, sort of. Alright, 
mice is hurting pretty bad. Yeah, there's a trailer on YouTube. It looks really good. Like I said, it's like very similar to Forrest Gump. It's like a story that takes place like over several decades. Like during like, you know, big moments in history and things. I didn't even realize that was by Tim Burton. You guys ever seen the movie Cry Baby? With Johnny Depp? That's a good movie. I really like it. I think I've seen it like three times. It's like a spoof on Grease. Kind of. Grease is a fucking weird movie, dude. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't like that movie. And I don't know why. I think it's because it's like Quentin Tarantino. Or is, it, is that Quentin Tarantino? Or am I fucking stupid? Who's that guy? Who's the main guy from Greece? John Travolta. He just looks like, a, he looks so fucking old. guy gonna take to die.
He's hurting now. Couple more turns. more powerful heal spell. Even the gods aren't perfect. I can be magnanimous. So, I will forgive you. Do you believe in true love? dungeon. This this area, we're gonna someone's gonna join the party from here. I'm pretty sure.
<coughs> All right, we know our next destination. Meanwhile, look at this luster. Deeper than darkness, more powerful than the sun. This is the power of the darkness. The power of the holy flame is magnificent. Using this power, I can forge any sword I wish. Yes. Not only because of the power of the holy flame, but because of your great talent as a spirit blacksmith. Did you say something, Jella? Nothing. Just that it was because of your great achievements and your great power, sir. This is not good enough. I need more power to make the perfect sword. Yes. Yes. I remember now. I've felt this power before. That was when I was with Zodina. Does that mean? Hey, Mr. J! Did you know that those guys went to Wano? Oh, God, that fucking Man, uh... I, I would really like to see through a whole bunch of Tenchi Muyo. I don't know. There's so much I haven't seen. I've only seen, like, uh, Tenchi Muyo, then, like, I guess Tenchi Universe is the second season or something. And then I've seen uh, Tenchi in Tokyo. I think there's a series, a short series, and then a movie. That's all I've seen. I didn't even really realize there was anything else in other than sci-fi element of Tenchi Muyo is the coolest part. But after that, man, <clears throat> if you watch uh, Duel, I've only seen like the first three episodes of it, but I really, really liked it. It's like uh, if Evangelion wasn't like manically depressed, <laughs> that it would be Duel. I almost forgot to ask, Mr. D. Have you made my dark sword yet? Hey, Mr. D, I'm talking to you! Yes. Hey, are you listening to me, Mr. D? You're so mean, but I kind of like it. It's cool. Okay. I'm leaving without you, Mr. D. But don't take too long. Yeah, she's definitely Harlequin. Yes! With Sodina's elemental power, I will become even more powerful. Why does it have to be Sodina? Why can't it be me? Pathetic. How can you feel love? You're merely a puppet. I do feel love. My heart is filled with love for you. Silence, doll! Master! His Majesty was saying the Clan of Darkness was overthrown by the Clan of the Light. Your father was killed by them too. I can feel your pain. I will follow you as long as I live. Come with me, John. Perhaps I can find a use for you. Yes, Master. I'm 
Right, let's see where we are. Oh, I gotta save that, babe. Well, this is not what I was expecting. Hopefully we're not, like, mostly dead. Dodge. Sound like he like hit me twice. Unhand my sister, you fiend. Dude, there's like three voice actors in this game, I swear to God. What is Fatal Frame? Isn't that like a fighting game? Uh, never played it. I've heard of it. game. No! Soshi! This isn't what it looks like! I am Soshi Maharoba. Never have I seen such unparalleled beauty in a place like this. I would be honored if you would grace me with your presence. I am free tonight. When would you like to meet me? Oh my god. What? What? B but
Are you all right? <laughs> I am not long for this world. I thought it would be wonderful if I could spend time with you before I... Soshi, knock it off! You won't get anywhere with that sympathy act. Girls aren't that stupid. <coughs> Kyoka, how can you be so cruel to your own brother? Hey, did you see that? He looks so sick. I wonder if he's okay, in more ways than one. Yeah, they're weird. <sighs> oh, you are such a great brother to me. But you turn into this sickly narcissist at the sight of another woman. What are you saying? Surely I couldn't be that way with my own sister. That's not my point! Well, I must attend to some important matters. Hopefully I will live long enough to see you again. Mike's got some competition. I did not mean to... to wake up. All right. Nice and healed. All 
All right, so I'm pretty sure, okay, so to get to that island of Riku, we have to take a ship from Tokyo Port. Tokyo Port is east of here. Jesus Christ, I did not mean to go back in there. After this, I'm going to be doing the whole entire Metal Gear series. Uh, it's gonna that one. It's gonna be a lot. Take a long time. Then after that, it'll be another PS1 era jerp. So like very, from my experience, very judgment on how other people play Metal Gear. So not really looking forward to that aspect. <clears throat> you know, I mean, uh, I try to be stealthy, you know, stealthy as I can be, but I don't know. I mean, I'm not. I, I I just I keep it real, man. You know, if I get caught, I don't like restart the fucking game. You know, I just uh, try to do what I would do if I was in that situation. You know, fight when I have to fight, run when I have to run. That thing looks fucking super familiar to me for some reason. That's it's very possible, but that's okay. It is what it is. Man, I remember uh, for one of those extra life streams, I actually spent like an entire day taking my foot off the frog and trying to put Solid Snake's sneaking suit on him. Uh, yeah, it's, I invested way too much time on trying to do that. It like looked all right. But it was not. It is not good enough. We don't quite have the skill set for that. Best I could do is Photoshop my, my, my toad's head onto Snake's body. Which I think in some ways. Alright guys, we're coming up here on the end of the night, going to uh, gonna go ahead and stop here, feels like a good time to stop, uh, yeah, yeah, so like I said, we basically spent the entire stream in that one dungeon, but that's okay, it was a fun time in there, lots of goofy things were happening, so gotta go to Tokyo Point, and then take a ship to Riku Island, save uh, Samurai Dude's master, and then he might know where the next sacred altar is. Uh, schedule coming up. I'll be live, what is, uh, so Monday night and Tuesday night. So tomorrow and the next day, I'll be live. Um, hopefully. My, I got a new guy that's starting tomorrow on the night shift that I keep having to cover. Uh, if all goes well and he actually does indeed start tomorrow, if there's no like hang-ups in HR, um, he'll train tomorrow and then work Tuesday and Wednesday. If that does not happen and I have to cover Tuesday night, then needless to say, I, I won't be live. But uh, the schedule 
Shh. Moving forward, um, the plan is Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Yeah. So, four days a week for now. Anyway, uh, that is a wrap for me, guys. You all have a wonderful night, and I'll see you tomorrow. Same Stu time, same Stu channel.